Hey everyone, this is Rod and I'm back with another Breath of the Wild video. Guys, this one is about farming Lionel, and Lionel are endgame enemies. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you how I approach this. Uh, it's a little different than, you know, I have the Savage Lionel shield, um, the Savage Lionel bows, you know, and these really awesome weapons. Um, Lionel are great for getting these awesome weapons, guys. Uh, so you want to be able to farm them as much as possible, you know, through your journey through Hyrule, right? Um, but what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how we're going to try and farm Lionel with just like mid-range stuff. Now, the first thing I did, guys, is I have these um, foods that I cook together. Uh, some of them include Razorback Crabs right here, or Razor Claw Crab, excuse me. That increases your attack power. You cook five of them together, you get your attack maxed out. You notice in the top left corner, uh, right under my hearts, I have three swords with the up arrow. That means my attack is like super hyped up right now, guys. So I'm not relying on barbarian gear. In fact, I'm using my climbing set. Now the other thing you guys want to have is if you notice right next to my stamina wheel is extra stamina. You can get that by cooking five Endura Carrots. You want to cook the Endura Carrots and eat those first. And then you want to take the Attack Up Potion. Now what I'm going to do, guys, is there's this Silver Lionel right here, right? He's just hanging out right here. And these are serious enemies in this game. These are like the hardest enemies in the game. And what I've got here is the Great Eagle Bow. Now I do recommend before taking on any Lionel, guys, that you're going to use... Uh, Rivali's Gale using this strategy and you'll basically get the Great Eagle Bow from getting uh, Rivali's Gale. Now that is from beating the uh, the Meadow boss, uh, Va, Va Meadow, uh, the Eagle over the Rito Village. You want this because it shoots super fast in the air um, and it shoots three arrows. So once you're in the air, you notice my stamina is already going down, but you can shoot super fast at this Lionel, you're just going to unload on him in the air. Now guys, notice he went down immediately. We're going to run up and mount if we can. Oh no. And we failed guys, but that's not an issue because we're going to use our stamina. And he's going to use that. We're going to use Revali's Gale to get up in the air again. Now once we're up in the air again, we're going to start dropping down and just pummeling him with these arrows. We want to hit him in the head as much as possible, guys. That makes him go down when I mount him. Now even though I'm using this Thunder Blade that only has 30 attack, I'm doing a ton of damage, guys. Again, we're going to want to run. And I jump there. Flurry Rush. Again, go up with R Rivali's Gale, guys. This is a huge, huge advantage. Because every time you unleash this flurry of arrows at him from the sky, he's taking a ton of damage, especially with this great ego bow. And again, guys. Now, he did hit me for some health there. Oh, and I'm going to run away because this means he's going to do his big AoE attack. And while he's doing that, he's kind of stunned, so I'm going to get back up in the air. Now, another type of bomb you can, or another type of arrow you can use, guys, is a fire arrow. That will work as well. You just want any elemental arrow, because that's going to slow him down. Now, I'm running out of those, so I'm going to switch to bomb arrows. And again, these are just going to do a ton of damage. And that's what we want. And look, he's dead. Now... Guys, we got a ton, a ton of weapons, a ton of Lionel hooves, we got a spear, we got a bow, uh, and that's from killing the silver Lionel. Now, if you notice, I have a red Lionel bow here I'm going to drop to pick up this savage Lionel bow. 48 attack times 3. Now, once you get one of these guys, it makes it so much easier to beat a Lionel. So you equip that, and you go hunting your next one. And you do it with the stronger weapons. Every time you kill a Lionel, guys, you're going to get their hooves. You're going to get their weapons. 
uh, and it makes it f makes fighting the next one easier. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys this guide. This is kind of a guide to showing you how to beat Lionel in a mid-game sense. You're not fully equipped for everything, but guys, there are two Lionel in this area. There's one here, and if you notice, I'm in the uh, the Taobob Grassland. That is kind of where you find the Ganon horse. So you come down here next to this circle rock, right? Then there's going to be one right over here. If you beat this first one, really easily accessible from the Stasis Trial Shrine, which you should all have as a fast travel point. There's going to be one right down here in the Osira Plains. And you can go right to that next one. As soon as you heal up, just heal up, let your stamina recover. If you've got more attack power stuff, you can use that, okay? Now, guys, just to show you, we're going to run and get... All right, so imagine now... A lot of the times you can luck out from these two guys the first time I actually got this guy and I believe it was this one right so now I have this 4830 and I got a bunch of shock arrows right I used a bunch but I, they also gave me a bunch I think he gave me 10 right so now I'm just gonna go over here look for the guy he should be down here and the best thing to do, guys, again, is let that Rivali's Gale charge up. But I'll show you, he should be right over here somewhere. And I think he's right there. Oh, no, that's not him. That's a tree. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he is. Pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. So we see another one. This one has a club. So that means we're going to get this awesome club. That I have, and he's got another Savage Lionel bow, guys. So you go right to this guy. You do the same thing. You farm him. Boom, you got another set of Lionel weapons. Super strong, super powerful. Basically tears through anything in the game. But I just want to drop that on you guys. Uh, again, this is Rod. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope I see you soon.